As if you didn't know, t t yesterday the Oregon Ducks had celebrated a second victory in the Rose Bowl. That's good news. And I'm still talking about that to this day. So, with that set in mind, I have an announcement to tell you. You see, as soon as I was coming back from, as soon as I was coming back from the library, I decided to go get something to eat. So I went to Signal Station Pizza, and I have to see a bunch of kids playing soccer and whatnot. And the craziest thing just happened. Some guy I don't know was at this Thai food stand, and all of a sudden he just runs away without paying, like like he was somebody, and I chased him down. But that guy could run like Michael Johnson. But, he, but luckily I got there in the nick of time and I, I, I told the lady what happened and he, she said he took off without pay and I'm like what? and I asked her did you call the police and she said no I didn't call the police she should, I hope she got a good look at the guy who stole Thai food You know, I would never do anything despicable like that. I pay for my, I pay for anything when I want to get scrapped with a little something to eat. Hey, I stop at Signal Station Pizza. I pay for pizza. And Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. So you know, there's nothing wrong with that one. But this, I'm not, I'm not fed up with that. So, this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. If you break the law, you pay the price. I've broken the law plenty of times. I had fights with my families, and all of a sudden I do disorderly conduct. Which I didn't do. You think I almost got arrested? But assault in the fourth degree in 2005? Come on. Like, I'm supposed to go to Juvie for that. And this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Go to Juvie for a crime you just committed. You feel isolated, you feel alone. You're not there anymore, ladies and gentlemen. It just bites that you gotta go to Jew for a crime you just committed. And sure, I'm not down with that. But what I'm not down with is how people break the law when all of a sudden they wanna just, oh, I got a better idea. How about I steal something? I'm hungry, by the way. I know. I'll go rob a Thai, Thailand, I'll go rob a woman who's at a Chinese place. Like that's supposed to work. Like if people weren't supposed to know. Scam artists, con artists. They don't come first. Family, that comes first. Luckily yesterday I was watching an episode of Two Broke Girls. And instead of paying it in money, instead Carol, Carol and Max come up with an idea. Use coupons. Maybe I should do that. Use coupons to buy a cake mix to make cupcakes. The only thing I could use is Duncan Hines. But I'd rather use... What the hell, I might use Duncan Hines. And you know the secret ingredient to those cupcakes? It's not Pillsbury. 
stop Pillsbury Max uses. The only ingredient I use is Kahlua. Kicks up the flavor. Tastes like chocolate milk. And then you bring up the one thing that's totally uncool for guys. Tampons. Some Asian guy put a tampon machine in there and they jacked up the price of 75 cents. And you know what? So what if Cat Dennings used tampons for, 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 pet, for free stuff? That's like a pop sign you just can't get, a, get rid of. Girl so crazy, girl so ugly. <coughs> Ding! <laughs> like I'm supposed to learn from that. And then Chester, the horse. He was my favorite character. Why did the girls have to get rid of him? <laughs> That's just so unfair. I love Chester ever since, and let me tell you, the guy knows how to sing a song, but now that song is gone. So those are the things I wanted to talk to you about, just three things. One, the Oregon Ducks winning the Rose Bowl. Two, robbing a Thai food stand. And three, tampons, Pillsbury, tampons, coupons, and cake mix, and Chester. Three things I always wanted to talk to you about. Well, that's my blog, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, at ECWDude17, hashtag... Vumongous and spectacular. Like me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this, rate it. Okay? Oh, see you later.